Welcome to Her Remarkable History. Remember, to support our channel, please subscribe. The Iron Maiden, the horrific torture device that could kill. Throughout the centuries, torture has been used by many different kings and queens to extract vital information that could threaten the security of the monarchy or the nation. For example, during the reign of Queen Elizabeth I, she would torture a number of Catholics to find information out about suspected plots which wished to kill her and place Mary Queen of Scots on the throne. Also, James I authorised with his own hand the torture of Guy Fawkes and inside the Tower of London the gunpowder plotter was racked so severely that he was a changed man. Torture was a painful thing for the crown to wield, but there is one torture device which is considered very brutal and uncivilised, and the Iron Maiden is regarded as a device which communicates how brutal the Middle Ages were. But what is the story behind the terrifying and brutal torture device? The Iron Maiden, in its most common form, was a solid iron cabinet, or closet, which had a hinged front. On the inside of the door was a number of pikes which, when closed, could stab into a human enclosed inside. These spikes would also push a prisoner into a very uncomfortable position, and an ordeal in the Maiden would be very painful. However, there is some debate around the Iron Maiden, and when it was actually used, and if actually, it was actually used throughout history. It's believed that they were used in the medieval period, but there is no written evidence or proof about them existing before the early 1800s. However, similar devices were found in the ancient world and were used by a Spartan tyrant named Nabis, who used a wooden oven-like chest that had iron spikes inside to torture and punish those who had been accused of murder. The Iron Maiden, it's believed, could have been made later to represent the medieval period and may have been a sinister take on the Spanish coat, a device where victims were forced to wear a wooden barrel which was weighed down and was a form of public humiliation. But there were other inspirations for the Maiden, in which prisoners were forced to lie inside of spiked coffins or boxes. But as mentioned, it is doubted that the Iron Maidens were actually used as a torture device and instead may have just been elaborate creations to place inside of museums to show how backwards and brutal the medieval period may have been. This may have been used as a way of trying to get more people to attend a museum exhibition and to generate income, and for this there are many different Iron Maidens made from the 19th century that are in a number of different museums around the world. The Iron Maiden would capture the imagination of audiences and visitors, as they could not imagine what it would be like trapped inside the spiked huge structure. The plan was for the spikes inside of the device to not pierce the major arteries or organs, and instead these were short. Because of this, death would take a long while, and someone would bleed out over time. The most famous Iron Maiden was the Nuremberg Maiden, and from this many different ones were made. This dates back from the early 19th century, at its latest, and the original was even lost during the bombing of Nuremberg by the Allies in 1945 during the Second World War. There may have been other Iron Maiden copies made, but it's believed that their story and whole reputation could be made on fabrication. The first reference to the Maiden came from German philosopher named Johann Philipp Siebenkies, who wrote about the alleged execution of a coin forger in 1515, who inside the city of Nuremberg was executed using the Maiden. And it was around this time that the device turned up around Europe. Interestingly, one in 2003 was found at the Iraqi National Olympic Committee compound in Baghdad, it was Saddam Hussein's son, Uday, who was once the head of the committee and the country's football association, and it was claimed that he would torture, humiliate and beat under performers and athletes. It was considered that the Iron Maiden inside this compound was worn from use. However, no eyewitness accounts exist at the moment of this being used. So whether the Iron Maiden was actually used or not is debatable, 
but it almost probably wasn't used in the medieval period. Whether it was just a fancy artefact used inside of museums to shock audiences, or whether it was used as devices such as the rack were, remains to be seen. What cannot be disputed, though, is how horrific it would be to be inside of the Iron Maiden, with the spikes piercing someone's skin, causing them to slowly bleed to death. It would be one of the worst execution methods used throughout of history. Thank you for watching, and to support, please subscribe to Her Remarkable History. Thank you.